So in our last video, we refracted our upload process out to a dedicated action. In this video, let's look at finishing off our front end and let's list out our documents. So over in our document controller, and that's under app HTTP controllers document controller, let's just come down to our index method and let's grab out the documents and pass them down to the view. There's multiple ways of doing this. The way I'm going to do it, I'm going to create a new variable here called documents. I'm going to set this equal to the document model. I'm going to say with, and I want you to get the users as well. So this is the user relationship. So each document has a user that's uploaded it. And I want to get the information of the user that has uploaded it. And then we can just chain on the end get. So we want to get the results. So this is going to get us all the documents from the database and also the relationship with the users. Now as a second parameter here, I'm going to call compact and compact takes in a name of a variable you want to pass down. So I'm going to pass down documents and you're passing this in as a string without the dollar sign at the start. And what this does is this looks for the variable documents, which is here and converts it into an array called documents. And we're passing it down to the view here as a second parameter. So now in our view, we can just loop over the variable documents and we'll have access to everything inside of here that we got with the eloquent request. So let's look at our documents index page and that's under resources views documents index and you can see we have our current table and inside of the table body there is a table row let's just loop over this now so we can say for each and we want to say for each of our documents as documents and then at the close in tr here let's end our for each now for each row here let's just echo out the relevant data so we got the document name here. So we're going to say document and we call this file name in the database. So let's say file name. And then we want the user's name, which is the user that actually uploaded the file. So we can say document and then we want to get information out of the user relationship and we want to get the user's name. So let's just refresh this. And there you can see it loops over our documents, gives out the documents title and the user who uploaded it. Now we've currently only got two documents in here, so it doesn't really make sense at the moment, but I want to add pagination now. So we've got it ready as we upload more and more documents. So back over in our controller, instead of calling get here, let's call paginate. And I'm going to paginate this just to one at the moment because we've only got two documents in there. And then over in our index, and then at the end of our table here, we'll drop the links in here. Let's add a div in here and um, we'll give this a little bit of styling. Don't worry, you don't have to do this. It's completely optional. And we're going to give it a background of white. Give this a padding X of four and a padding Y of three. And we'll put the items in the center and we'll justify between. And that should be enough. Let's check that out in a moment. And then we just need to echo out our pagination links. So inside of here, let's do documents. And then we're going to call the links method. Now let's just check this out, see how it looks. And there we go. We have our pagination down the bottom. That doesn't look too bad, actually. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. And let's just try this out. So we're on our first page in a moment, one of two showing routing. And then we go to page two. And we can see our cache document. And we're showing page two of two. So that's our pagination working. And we're listing documents out as we expected. In a later video, we're going to be wiring up the download and delete buttons. So for the moment, they're not ready yet. Don't worry, we are going to be coming to that. In the next video, I'm going to start going over something a little bit more complex. And I'm going to introduce you to something called the strategy pattern. Now, the strategy pattern is actually one of the easier design patterns to use. And it's actually very useful. And it's very useful when you don't know the type of class you want to instantiate at runtime. So at the moment, we're only taking in text files. But let's say at a later date we want to add PDF files and later in the series I will be showing you how to upload a PDF file to this system as well. But when we upload that file, the system currently doesn't know whether it should be reading a text file or a PDF file, then it doesn't know how to handle that. So in the next video I'm going to introduce you to the strategy pattern and show you one way how we can solve that problem. If you are enjoying this series, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updates as and when future videos are released on this series. Also, check out the other series on my channel. I have a lot of Laravel related content on there. 
And remember, this course does come with some extra premium content that is completely optional, and that is over on Udemy. And I'll pop a link in the description with a 60% discount code for the first 100 signups. And you can watch the entire series straight away without any adverts.